Harrison Forbes from Pet Talk, you brought out a huge tour bus of over 200 gifts. How did you get involved with this whole thing? Joanna, my best friend, called me and she said, you know, I know we love all this pet stuff, but we love kids too. One of our great sponsors, Jack Specific, brought 250 toys out here to help all these kids. We're really excited to be here. It's live with Regis and Kelly. And we begin Doggy Do's and Don'ts Week. <laughs> Start to make a vacation with your dog a pleasant experience for everyone is pet expert and author of Dog Talk, Harrison Forbes. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Pet safety in the car is a yeah. big issue now. There's a lot of accidents caused with distracted driving with your pet jumping yes. up in the front seat. So here we've got some uh, good models here in the Hi. back of the car. Uh, Harrison Forbes is the host of Pet Talks. It's kind of counterintuitive because you see this dog with a big furry coat and you think, well, it's summer, you know, let's take that off yeah. of it. It's going to cool him off. We're back, joined now in Nashville by Harrison Forbes, the host of Pet Talk, the nationally syndicated radio show. He's been a dog trainer and a behaviorist for more than two decades. Harrison Forbes is the host of the radio talk show Pet Talk, and he's authored the book Dog Talk. How you doing, Harrison? Welcome to Red Eye. Harrison Forbes, animal behaviorist and radio host of Pet Talk. If intelligence were rabies, I'd shoot him pronto. Harrison Forbes is here to help solve your spring doggy dilemmas. So here with some advice is pet expert Harrison Forbes. Here for the Cooper Forbes Foundation are Harrison Forbes, host of Pet Talk, and former WWE superstar Tori Wilson. And I think now the rest of the world knows why they call Tennessee the Volunteer Set. But Joanna and I and Tori are privileged to be here and be a part of this tonight. So thank you guys for putting on this great event. Thank you, Tori and Harrison. Tonight we're in Hollywood at the historic Avalon Theater for the 2006 Pause for Style fundraiser for the Animal Medical Center in New York. We are here, the king of all confirmation shows, New York City, Madison Square Garden, it's Westminster. Hi, I'm Harrison Forbes. And I'm Joanna Krupa. Tonight we're at the historic El Capitan Theater in Hollywood for the premiere of Disney's Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And we're here at the Pet Fascia Week in Manhattan, New York. They've got a great show lined up for tonight, some outfits for the dogs and the people wearing them. It's some crazy stuff you've never seen before, so stay with us. Welcome to St. Petersburg on the Gulf Coast of Florida, known for its white sandy beaches. Pet Stories is a show where you can go online to PetStories.com and share your personal story in print or video form. There will be contests for daily, weekly, and monthly prizes, as well as the grand prize of having your pet story immortalized and told on the national TV show, Pet Stories. If you're a competitor at Westminster, you're most likely staying across the street at the Pennsylvania Hotel. Is this not eerily reminiscent of your interview gate scandal where you threw out tapes of you interviewing house employees <laughs> in French made outfits and somebody got upset and was threatening to uh, turn them into the press? Good afternoon. This holiday weekend, this is Pet Talk. you got to use the old eyeball barometer. I mean, if the dogs are in healthy shape, if they're yeah. maintaining their weight and not getting obese and not, yeah. you know, underweight, then that is the guideline you need to feed by. From your brother and sister where they can't feed her as much. Right. Okay, Christine? Thank you, Petmeister. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody out there that's a pet lover, if you had the opportunity, would you clone that pet. Feed a good quality food, but don't necessarily feed the puppy version of that if it's a large breed dog that has a history of uh, joint hip dysplasia and high propensity for that kind of thing. What's the most embarrassing thing that one of your pets has done? Oh, yeah, a, a poo eating incident at, uh, at, at, at we, we did, it was okay, it was you know, hanging off of her butt and she began to eat it in public. Oh my God. Yeah, we were actually out at, out, like at an outdoor restaurant. Nice. All right, guys, we're here today in Vegas at Super Zoo. It's the largest pet industry show in the world. Holly's got uh, her new guy, Napoleon. 
He's coming in today to get some new gear. Need some new dress up, new leash, new outfits, right? He can't wait. He's looking in there already. We're excited to check this out. It's huge. There's like eight football fields worth of uh, stuff in here. So we're going to go in here and uh, check it out. I heard you slip a few minutes ago. So tell me about your f dog. Yeah, I hate easy. I actually am thinking about singing a song tonight, but I don't think I will. And it's uh, it's in my HBO special, but it's not right for this crowd. I don't think it's called My Dog Lick My Ball. I don't really think you can do it. What's the quirkiest thing that one of your pets does? Um, my rescue dog from Much Love Animal Rescue, Chiquita. Chiquita had babies, and um, she loves to rub her nipples on the carpet. <laughs> not for television. Can't say. My, my dog, Alan, um, would uh, uh, not lift his... Uh, he, he would uh, squat uh, to pee. And, and we, were, we were sure that he, he was gay, um, which is fine, King Charles Spaniel, and uh, we were good with it. And They're we, allowed to be a little... We supported him. He actually came out uh, about seven years in, and, but he would <laughs> squat, and you'd look at him, and he would look at you like, this is what I do. <laughs> this this is me, Dad, accept it. This is me, Father. Harrison, you host a show dealing with dogs. Is this widespread to your knowledge? I think it is. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about it being a, kind of a southern cultural thing, and I think there's a lot of that that still goes on in the South. I think one of the things you got to understand is the mindset of a lot of these guys that are dog fighters. If you went up to them and asked them, they would say they love their animals. It's There's a little bit of a disconnect, almost kind of like a farmer that raises chickens and cows and feeds them and provides medical care for them and shelter, and then takes them off to slaughter. I think a lot of these guys feel like this is what these dogs were designed for and there's just kind of a disconnect when it comes to uh, putting them down or, or getting rid of them that, that doesn't make sense to the rest of us but in their world it does. Greg, if they crack down on this, I don't know uh, what that's going to do for some of your pool boys. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> He's done some good to me as well. Uh, Harrison was looking out for me. Yeah, but, you know, you take one flight from L.A. to New York in yeah. a private jet, burns more fuel than an entire year in a gas guzzle on the SUV, so I'll just keep driving. Let me thank the great Harrison Forbes. You were fantastic. And Allison Rosen also for coming on the show tonight. Some dogs are geared that way and some aren't. Most aren't. You're gonna turn on the dog. Hey everybody, we are in Orlando at the Global Pet Expo. It's something Watch. they get excited about. Watch the poop. I just want you to. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Our right. thanks to uh, Harrison Forbes with syndicated radio show Pet Talk. <laughs> right? Yes. And we gotta it's get out of here. It's a great show. And hi, I'm Tia Career, and you're watching Pet Talk with Harrison Forbes. Hi, I'm Harrison. Oh, hi. Hello. 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 Hello.